play. And uh, the Kill Sage, also a player of that same mindset, translating to other games using that straight fundamental, if it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of mentality. Right. So I really want to see uh, these two styles that are quite similar, in my opinion, just clash and, uh, you know, see the fireworks go. To be honest with you, I think that's a consistent um, theme throughout House of 3000. Mm. If you really, it, 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 I know you may not be as familiar with them as me, mm -hmm. but one thing that I will notice is, um, for the most part, most of the House of 3000 are very, like, um, like uh, basic, like yep. very sturdy players. Mm -hmm. Like they, they don't try to overcomplicate the match yeah. more than it needs to They're be. They're not trying to style and all that. They just want, they just want to take you out. Mm -hmm. But right now we got um, the kill stage using his pocket Mewtwo going up against uh, Mike Krabby because right. you know they have history against each other. So there's probably some things outside of tournaments that we don't even see mm -hmm. that coerces this kind of pocket change. And we know that the kill stage has a Sheik, has a Fox. Both of those characters a little dangerous to play against Kirby. So I really like the Mewtwo pick that low uh, frame six detail coming out. Seriously, uh, Kirby has to work very hard to get past that mm -hmm. that ranged attack. Yeah, and uh, that kind of mitigates the crouch game. But Mike Kurt, oh, oh my god. Wow. That was actually amazing. I, do you know, I actually just had the thought, because of how light me two is, I was like, I want to see how Mike combos like characters. Yeah. We just saw. He converted a five hit combo into an inhale. Mm. Oh my gosh, he, he, he inhaled that, that's for sure. He <laughs> took a shadow ball right to the mush. Right, he took it to the chest. Whatever is my uh, Kirby's chest. Yep. And I like what the Kill Sage is doing right here. Using that detail, just threatening the landing option of Mike Ooh. Kirby. Also Kirby having slow aerial mobility. That amazing forward air coming into play right there. What I, what I, I, I uh, speaking of forward air, what I, what I might want to start seeing from Kirby is short hop forward air. Mm -hmm. That's one of Kirby's best, again. Run the ledge. I'm telling you, if, if Kirby starts uh, um, at that thing, we're going to see more of that in neutral. Because there's actually not a whole lot. If he fades it back, yeah, if he fades it back, there's actually not much Mewtwo can do. Mm -hmm. Oh, very Until, nice. Oh, he went for a down smash, really. Oh, so this is apparently winner's finals, guys. I, I wasn't aware. Oh, right. good stuff. Yeah. Winner's finals in, on deck here. Yeah, actually, yeah. It is. Oh. <laughs> Gotta duck that. Don't block another one. And see, that's why I like the kill stage, because he understands that it's it's really not necessary to break your opponent's shield. You whittle it down to like a nice m, &M size, and it buys you offensive initiative, because now you know the opponent doesn't want to block. Yep. He only has two options, jump or go off stage. Yes. And, and then you get to funnel their movement. off the table, too. Because um, I th I'm pretty sure the Kill Sage is using Tilt Stick. Mewtwo does have access to a sliding detail in, uh, with Tilt Stick in the control. So he can use that Shadow Ball to whittle down the shield. My god, I don't know how that didn't hit. Wow. And, and use that sliding detail to kind of do an advancing poke option that covers and sweeps the ground. Once yeah. again, pointing out that it covers Kirby's crouch option right yeah. there, you saw it. So that's at some some like intermediate uh, Mewtwo tech shared by, by Gunblade. So for you Mewtwo players, definitely try to, if you use Tilt Stick or if you don't, that might be an incentive to do so. Nice, so that, that's one option there is, hey, you're gonna, if you, perfect shield, you don't have to uh, worry about uh, getting your shield broken down. Mm -hmm. Nice, we see Mike Kirby. Now he, he had an opportunity inside, but I really like what he did. And it was just calm, cool, and collected. Nice back airs on Mewtwo's large frame. Yeah. But the kill stage playing proper defense, getting out of that situation. Now Mike Kirby is in a position where he has to get that KO very soon. But unfortunately, there was no suey spot on that. It was all sour. Yeah, Mewtwo, even if he doesn't get that spike hitbox on that down air, it has crazy knockback. Uh, regardless. Which is good because you get your opponent off your feet. Yep. They have no stage control. They're at, at risk of dying. Nice <laughs> snare. Good, good tech there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hanging right. out too too long by the edge. And speaking of hanging, hanging uh, right now, Mike Kirby's hanging this onto this game by a thread. But right now, uh, the kill stage smells blood. He's content with just just letting the, uh, the, the, the wounded prey kind of like bleed out. He's just going to keep, you know, throwing those projectiles. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in, uh, I like the decision that Mike Kirby is. Uh, oh, wow. no dodging yeah. in time. You that gotta, wasn't a good decision, but you, you gotta. You, no, it just gotta makes you wonder. What, what, what exactly was Mike thinking, to the to not allow him to answer the only option Mewtwo had at the time. The only thing he really had was to throw the ball to kill. Mm -hmm. So like, I gotta, I gotta wonder why didn't he dodge? 
Yeah, I mean, he already grabbed the ledge knowing that he wouldn't have had access to invincibility. If he re-grabbed the ledge, I think he was scared of option B and mm. didn't take into account option A correctly, which was the Shadow Ball. Now, we saw Mike Kirby using great patience there at the end, but it, it's kind of like for my Overwatch players out there, how if you pick Reinhardt and you put your shield up, you don't stand there and just block yeah. You know, if you're like going on attack or you're trying to move the payload, you got to block and move. You got to block and move. So you really want to use that defense, that patience with the shield and kind of inch your way forward, yeah. especially when you're at a deficit and get in there. And the correlation between that example that you just gave, which is really good, is that what Curry wants to do, which is weird because I've seen him do that a lot. He's done that versus me. Instead of jumping, he'll jump dodge, jump dodge, jump dodge. And I felt like if he was doing it in that situation, Game one could have been a whole lot different. But right now, uh, I, you know what's funny? I wanted to make the remark uh, that we might have seen a switch to Meta Knight from Mike Kirby. He does have a pocket Meta Knight. Mm -hmm. But I think that he's not confident enough against the kill stage. There's probably too much that he knows when they train together about how, I guess, incapable his Meta Knight is. So he probably figured, let me just stick it out with my main. Yeah. And unfortunately for Mike, for all my Mike fans out there, this match is quickly spiraling out of control. Yeah, this is, this seems like a tough one for Kirby, but yeah, that that situation, oh, the kill man. stage is taking advantage of it every single time. So Mike Kirby really needs to find a different way to tackle that situation when Shadow Ball is active. That was good right there. Yeah. Um, recognizing that he was going to throw it. And that's gonna be that stack at only 53 percent. Yeah, that Disco Ball of Doom uh, gonna come <laughs> out. Now Mike trying to mount some offense here, back air coming out. Now Kirby does have. Uh, above average kill power and yes. he can really take advantage of Mewtwo's stats in that regard. Nice turnaround grab, getting that decent damage in and we are a forward smash away from that stock going. He went for it. Or oh, he might he, he might actually uh, be paying attention to the, to the long road which is get get uh, the kill stage to around like 110 and then try to coerce him into up throwing in the middle of the stage, mm -hmm. land on the platform. But I, I feel like a player like the kill stage is a bit too crafty Ooh. for that. Oh but he's not God. crafty enough to survive that one, I'll tell you. Yeah, right definitely the drop kick coming from the top rope, Mike Kirby. <laughs> that back air by the ledge. Seriously. Oh, geez, you can't kick through that ball, man. Oh. Nice, and let's see Mike Kirby try and mount some offense here. But he gave up positioning there. Yeah. He didn't push the, uh, the advantage that he had. Yeah, perfect okay. shield, smart call. Yeah, see, no, I he tried to roll by it, but that thing, yeah. the, the the flight pattern is so wavy and kind of like wonky. Yeah. Sometimes it might catch a roll, sometimes it might not. Yeah, see, Mike is waiting for, like, he, he power shielded the, the Shadow Ball. Mm -hmm. Fine. But then he stood there and let him charge another one. So why are you going to let him repeat the same situation that you were in disadvantage of? Especially when he's, like, at mid-range. Kirby thrives at almost a mid-range so you got to mid the mid the close range game right right so take that window once he lets go of that fully charged ball maybe that's a time to, to show how forward yeah. or, or try to roll yeah. in see right now the kill stage does not have that that big pressure option of whittling down the shield like you said because shadow ball is offline this is where mike kirby has to try and at least box mewtwo as best he can yeah Right, yeah, boxing Mewtwo is, is, is better, better, easier said than done, mm -hmm. honestly, because Mewtwo, if, if it's one thing he has, is limbs. <laughs> yeah, and see, even that right there, he power shielded three shallow balls, but ate that super fast detail. It's so hard to react to detail, so why try and rely on that? Yeah, it's true. I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's one thing that uh, I know Mike is capable of figuring out on the fly, but the question is, will he? Nice. Right. Good, Good roll in up till get to getting the party started here. This is exactly what Mike wants. Mm -hmm. It's just a way in that door. Oh, man, that up smash poking through the platforms. You wouldn't expect such a little character to have that much range. Yeah, and see Mike just letting him get his resource. That is not good. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing that that maybe uh, Mike is probably too trepidations trepidations in using is when you up when you uh, we got a little uh, uh love ballad happening i don't think these two are trying to <laughs> trying to share sentimental feelings i think they're trying to go at each other's silt so either play some like heavy metal or something or cut that off i don't know if you guys can hear it at home but definitely just some like weird ballad music just blasted in the venue but what I wanted to say is, so you know when Mike jumps at you, it can kind of make you feel like, ah, oh, I got to block because I don't want to get limbs. 
Sometimes his option might be to take a page out of Kirby's book and just jump in and inhale. Yeah. But it's something that Mike never does is because Mike's um, game plan is, is, is almost always way too linear on preservationalism. Like he just wants to be conservative and mm -hmm. preserve his life. He doesn't really take big risks like that. But I, I, to be honest with you, I feel like if you want to be a player of this caliber in a matchup of this, in, in, you know, this uh, intensity, yep. you might have to start thinking outside the box. Yeah, I agree with that. Up throw going to come out. There it goes. Yeah, and Mike Kirby doing, uh, doing what he does best, man. Kirby, the little grappler. Uh, <laughs> I wish there was like a Lucia costume for Kirby because he does like German suplexes for his back throw. Tombstone. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, the Stone Cold Stomp for his down throw. Yeah. <laughs> that would be so dope. Modders, get right on it. I want to see that Lucha, Lucha Kirby. All right, so unfavorable trade there for Mike Kirby. Getting the forward throw and dragging uh, him down. Re-grab out of the dare, and forward. I really like that nair at the end. Keeping the string short and to the point, getting 32%. That is a, a nice small victory for Mike Kirby. Did you see all this Woo. little shorthand boxing that Mike Kirby's yeah. doing? It seems like he's found maybe not so much what he should be doing to win, but it sounds like he, it feels like he's found his confidence in just yes. approaching the matchup in general. Well, he's now he's when he has advantage and when he gets in that pocket, he's pulling the trigger on some of these offensive options. Whereas in the last game, he was like you said, a little too conservative and he was not getting what he needed. Yeah, sometimes it's really not just about switching the strategy or switching your moves, sometimes it's just about like being more confident. That's it. Just using the same strategy, but just being more confident about it. Oh, right back air to no avail. Yeah, the second coolest throw in the game. For real. Oh, oh, oh rolling man. into it, adding a plethora of damage. Perfect shield. Try to run in, like you said, after the, the hard toss. Mm -hmm. But uh, the kill stage content to just fire and forget. Down tilt. Don't air dodge. No reason not to. This is dangerous for both opponents. Um, the Kill Sage cannot afford to get grabbed here. He's, he is standing under the top platform. Yeah. So. I think the same thing for Kirby. Uh, it's getting to that point where Kirby can get chucked by the coolest throw in the game. Ooh. Shadow Ball he's not going to do it yet. Literally literally singeing his back on that blast zone there. Uh -oh. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like that Mike Kirby ran away yeah. from it. Instead of staying still. Yeah, but didn't give uh, the Kill Sage the option to dash attack that low shield. Ooh, scary stuff. Beautiful confusion there to get that little lift. Seriously, both both uh, opponents are very, very anxious and cautious. No one wants to do anything wild. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. This is dangerous, oh, and, and that the, takes it. Yeah, the coolest throw in the game. Mewtwo having both the coolest and second coolest throw. Uh, but using that one, the up throw to get the KO. Big time victory for the Kill Sage and the Battle of Attrition there. But that, that was rough, man. Definitely rough. The Kill Sage seemed in the driver's seat most of the time there. Uh, just implementing that Shadow Ball, the threat of it on even on Shield. It's too great. The detail, so good. And Kirby's lack of range, aerial mobility.